people welcome back to my channel today I'm continuing on with my like trying new in series it was really hard to choose who to do next like what shop to do next but I always love looking at the feedback from you guys and the definite top choice from the comments on the last video was Zara I didn't know whether to do another kind of online store or not but yeah so I thought I'd go with what you guys really wanted to see next so I've got a big Zara order so in this video I'm trying everything on for the first time um, and I haven't done like a big Zara haul for ages it feels like like I usually kind of go I mean I love Zara first off they just always do trends so well I don't need to talk too much about Zara you guys all know <laughs> what Zara is um, and I'm sure loads of you shop there and I've picked out my favorite bits from their new in at the moment and um, so all of this should still be online I'll try and link everything down below and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think of their new in now so again, my idea for this video is kind of like my edit of the new in of Zara. So, oh, first off, I got this for Indy. Look how cute it is. Spring pieces like this need to start happening. <laughs> I'm so sick of waiting for spring. But yeah, this was this is so cute. I like popped into the baby section. This is $14.99. Okay, so first up, I got this kind of, it's like a bohemian looking, kind of like a tunic top, I guess. This was $29.99 lovely quality i love the material um i got it in a size small and i can't wait to try this on it's so pretty i really like the tie neck detail as well and sometimes i don't get tops like this because i'm scared that they're going to make me look a bit frumpy so hopefully it doesn't look too frumpy on so i love this like first impressions wise okay so this is what it looks like at the back i love the long sleeves and also that they um they're like elasticated on the ends. So it's just really, really comfortable to wear. Um, I've just worn a new, just my kind of day-to-day -day nude, lacy sort of bra underneath. Cause um, some people asked if I could talk about underwear that I wear underneath all these clothes as well. I think I definitely, I'm definitely gonna keep it. And it's just so beautiful for holidays and just anywhere that's in the sun. I think this just works so well. It's just one of those items that I feel like everyone should have. And, like I would probably tuck tuck it in oh i love it yeah i'd probably wear it like that like tucked in these shorts in case you're wondering are levi's i got them at coachella like two years ago um i got them in the wrong size because i was pregnant at the time and i didn't realize and i was like oh why am i so big and i ended up getting really big shorts then i realized why so it's a little bit sheer but it's a really like it's not too sheer i mean usually these tops are quite sheer anyway so i don't mind that at all and how pretty is the back as well? I love that it drops from here. Um, so yeah. Okay, next up, I got this. Oh my God, when I saw this, ugh, I was like, I have to have it. <laughs> I feel like that's my thing. That I, I feel like I always, always say that. But okay, so it's a two piece and I'm, I love this trend, the whole two piece trend. I love a whole trouser suit or I love the summer suit with the skirts. I saw, Oh no, sorry, it's a little bit crumpled. <laughs> this kind of rust colored blazer, for lack of a better word, um, with these ruched sleeves and it's quite long line. I feel like it's gonna look amazing with the trousers. So these trousers are actually very like loose, um, kind of like a loose fit. So I'm hoping that looks okay on me and like my frame. Um, but yeah, the trousers are $29.99. The, the blazer is $69.99, so a lot, a bit of a jump from the trousers uh, but hopefully this you know like the blazer is a piece that you can kind of wear a lot more and with a lot a lot of different outfits and and this color I think will go so nicely with denim as well so you know it's just really easy to style right so these trousers first on their own they've got an elasticated waist so they're actually really forgiving <laughs> they're kind of peg leg which um, I actually find a bit weird because I feel like is that a thing right now <laughs> Um, it's not a cut I usually go for because I feel like it it kind of makes my thighs or makes your thighs look even bigger than they are. Uh, I think with my body type and my height, I, I don't like to make my kind of thigh, thigh area look bigger than it is. But I'm sure it's fine once I've got the whole suit on as well because it will look a lot more streamlined. But they're super comfy, very, very soft. Um, the quality is quite nice. They don't feel super, like they don't feel super high quality. Um, I'm hoping the blazer will though, because of the price of it as well. Definitely a summer suit material because it's quite, like, you know, it moves quite easily. It's quite lightweight. So now I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna add the piece de resistance. <laughs> oh, I think I love it. Oh my God, I love it. 
I do love this. <laughs> this is the two piece all together. I need a lot more suits in my wardrobe now. As you can see, styled it with a, a simple plain white tee. And with this, I think I would love to wear just white uh, trainers as well. I think that would look really cool, but not platform ones, just kind of low ones. Yeah, I'm a bit smitten with this actually. The blazer feels so nice. I really like the ruched sleeves as well. <laughs> ruched sleeves, <laughs> that's hard to say quickly. It gives a whole look of really casual feel to it. Um, and the blazer does feel better quality than the trousers feel. I love this color so much and I feel like it looks so nice on my kind of skin tone. If you were to wear this just with white trainers during the day and then just switch it up for like some black strappy heels at night like it's such an easy outfit to carry from day to night usually i would think it's actually a touch too long but i think because it obviously just matches with the trousers it works because it's just an all-in-one sort of look this would look so nice as well with little hints of gold jewelry like i took my gold earrings off but i think that would look so nice would highly recommend it if you're on the hunt for a nice co-ord. Um, I got really into their tops this time round and this really looks like something you would get from like Reformation or I don't know, a little boutique shop in LA or something. It's got that kind of vibe to it. So it's this, red, sorry, the lighting's changing. It's this red wrap top and uh, the material is like a linen. It's quite a nice sturdy linen. <laughs> Um, this was 29.99 again and like I wasn't sure at first because I was like I don't know if this is really my style and pieces like this that are wrap especially just a top not a dress I sometimes find quite difficult to style but I could just so picture this with a pair of lovely sandals and like denim shorts and like, walking around LA <laughs> and I love these sleeves and I'm hoping that they're not too unflattering on me because I don't know, if you're like me, I've always had a bit of a thing about my arms, like, they used to be a lot bigger, and um, so I've just always had this thing in my head of like, I hope my arms don't look really big, which I know is stupid, but yeah, so big sleeves like this make me a bit like, oh, they're gonna make them look big. But, let's see. Okay, this top I love. Um, it feels so nice. Okay, so I was wearing my bra, and then um, the, my bra kept showing in the middle, so I took it off. So I'm not wearing a bra at the moment with this. If you did, it'd probably work if you were wearing like a triangle bra, because it comes down quite low. <laughs> you can see like my blue bit. I love the cut of this. I think it's cut so nicely. Like it could easily be, not be from Zara. There are these flappy bits here though, that come out sometimes, but I guess it's all right. If you're okay to just keep like tucking those back in. Really nice quality, really nice and thick. Um, I love the sleeves. I was worried about the sleeves, but I think they add such a nice shape to it. They do make me look wider because of the shape, but I think in real life as well, it, look, it looks really nice. And I love the color, especially in person. The color is beautiful. It's not the color that I usually go for. Um, it's the color that I see on other people and I'm like, oh, they look amazing in that color. But I feel like red and yellow this, uh, this summer. I'm gonna be into so much. I mean, I wouldn't wear this out with no bra because I do not trust the gapage. Oh, the one thing while I was putting this on, so when you wrap it, when you put it on and wrap it round, on this side, there's a little button and it fell off <laughs> as I was putting the top on. So it's so annoying. I'm Beautiful top, I just think like with this, the gay pitch and the button falling off is the only bad point. Um, so this next piece is one that I saw and Something about it just, I was like really attracted to it, but I, I can't kind of figure out why. Because it's not really something I would usually go for, but I think I really like the pattern because it, I love kind of like moroccan -y looking patterns like this. Does that make any sense? You know, you know, like it looks embroidered, it looks almost handmade. I'm not doing it justice again by holding this. I should have, I should put everything on a Hannah, a Hannah? <laughs> just have a girl called Hannah next to me. This is Hannah. Like, look at all the tassels and the bubbles. I love all the details on it. And I feel like it almost looks a little bit kind of Isabel Morant. Morant? Isabel Morant. $49.99. So if this doesn't work for me, I'll probably be taking it back because it was quite, quite a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping it does work and I'm hoping I can like mix it into my wardrobe. Okay, so this is the the wrap top. It's kind of, it's a little bit like a kimono as well, I think. I I kind of have mixed feelings about this. So I really like like the bottom half of it, but the top half I feel like it just looks a little bit weird or it doesn't really suit me and like my style. I don't know, but I, I love the colors. Also, I don't find it super flattering. <laughs> um, I just think it's cause it's, oh, it's so beautiful. 
I love it, but it, the bottom of it is quite heavy. So at my biggest, at the biggest point of my body, it kind of makes me look even bigger. Um, so maybe this would work more if you're that, you know, a body type. Actually, I should zoom out a little bit, shouldn't I? Right, so wait. <laughs> There you go. So just to give you <laughs> an idea, this is it, like full body. I don't know, I don't know. I, I don't think it's me. Maybe I would like a rug that looks like this. Yeah, I don't know, no. The top half looks like I'm wearing a blanket that I would drape over my sofa. Um, it's a beautiful piece though. I feel like it would suit, definitely suit so many people better than like, I think it suits me. I'll probably take this one back. <laughs> I saw these earrings and, and these earrings, oh my God, these really, how weird does that look? These have the exact same kind of vibe. I didn't even realize that. And I just think they look beautiful and I couldn't leave them. Um, they were 12 99 and they're quite out there for me. I don't usually, you know, I usually kind of play around with kind of like gold hoop sort of earrings or but I'm gonna try them on and see if I can make them work. And I thought I can definitely make these work with quite a simple outfit. So like if I was going on a night out and I was wearing like quite a smart or like pretty black top and I could put these on and it would, you know, give the outfit so much more. Well, I say that I've got these big black ones on from um, ASOS, but these are a bit more kind of detailed and bright. Okay, last but not least, and I I don't know what I was doing, but I feel like I've got more things than this. So I really, really meant for this video to be longer, to have like talked about lots more items, but, but I saw these and oh, look at them. So they're these, you can see what they are, but they're like mule sa healed mule sandals. I think what really caught my attention was the colour. Size five, because that's the size that I am. Um, I got these as well because I really, like, I don't really have a good... My shoe drobe is made out of, like, black boots, trainers, and some heels for, like, whenever I do go out at night. Um, but I don't have that many, kind of, like, summer sandals and definitely not good quality ones because I usually just grab some, like if I'm going away, I just grab any old sandal because I'm like, oh shit, I need some sandals for this trip. But I never put that much thought into it. So hopefully these will work really well for this spring, summer, like for going away and things. And I just, look, they go so nicely with black as well, I feel. And quite a splurge, but they're, they're such good quality. The leather is really nice and soft and it, it feels that like it's already worn in. Okay, so lastly we've got these shoes, which I just wanted to show you how I'd style them and just a really simple way of styling them. I love the colour of these, I feel like it's not coming up as, as well on camera. It's beautiful, it's so pretty. I just think it goes really well obviously with jeans, I feel like I say that all the time. But also I feel like it, they make each other stand out quite a lot because they're opposite. Uh, what's the word? You know, their colours on the opposite end of the spectrum. So I feel like they work really well together. But these are so comfortable, I can't even tell you. I just wanted to wear this straw bag with it so you could see the idea of the outfit, but I'm gonna put it down now because it's hard to like <laughs> talk while holding this huge bag. And like I said before, they feel like they've already been worn for like a year. I feel like I did really well with this little haul. Oh, I just want to wear them now without freezing my ass off. Really great quality, definitely worth the price for these. They're not too high as well, which I also love. All positives, really. Um, so I hope you guys liked this video. I, all, I love doing these so much, so please, Leave a comment down below letting me know where you want me to do one on next. So kind of like my edit of whatever shop it is. It can be an online shop, a high street shop. Um, it could be a designer or like, you know, a higher end um, kind of shop. Leave it down below. I'm thinking of doing maybe like Nasty Girl. Oh, H&M. I think a lot of people wanted to see that as well. And in case you're wondering, my top is from And Other Stories. My trousers are Topshop straight leg black jeans. Uh, my earrings are from ASOS. Check out my second channel, my vlog channel, for my daily life videos. I do weekly vlogs now, so like all this year I've been doing weekly vlogs. I'll either see you over there or I'll see you in the next video on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe, give the video a like if you liked it, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Do you wanna come and show them your bagels? <laughs> Is this a good fresh one? <laughs> My lovely husband has just delivered me a bagel. It it feels nice and yeah, like. Nice <laughs> Notice how it fluffs back. Up. It does. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's not hard. But now bite into it and you'll see this how sweet <laughs> and nice.
What are you tearing it for? Just bite I into don't it. like just biting into things. Okay. What is that? No, you bite the whole thing. You have to bite the top and the bottom. There you go. Get a proper bite. Yeah, good. It's sticky. I'm not supposed to be eating white bread. <laughs> bagel break. Best is bagels. it called bagel or bagel? <laughs> so you just say, can you say bicycle? Bicycle. I say bagel. Bagel. <laughs> Why would you go bagel? Oh, that'd be so good with the cream cheese and everything. Yeah. How many for all I of those? Twelve. 